Uh, if you do believe in the theory of stocks trade from supply to supply, well, they have to trade from demand to demand, and here's your demand, right? So you're worth 380, let's just call it 385. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good morning everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access to Trader.com um, weekend update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, let me be the first to uh, wish everybody a very happy uh, and merry and healthy uh, Christmas. Hope everybody uh, is doing well. Most important thing, uh, make sure everybody uh, stays healthy. Um, as we've seen now ever since Thanksgiving, um, there's been a huge rise uh, in, in COVID cases. And finally, uh, it's hit my home. Uh, my son got uh, sick on Wednesday. Okay. Um, I started feeling like crap on Monday and Tuesday, uh, but it turned out, you know, I, I got tested as well. Uh, it turned out uh, I'm just battling some sort of some sort of bug, a, a, a lot like everybody else. Believe it or not, you can still get uh, sick by other things that, other than COVID. But uh, my son got sick on Wednesday night, uh, tested positive uh, for COVID. Today is Saturday. Um, he's had literally between 101 to 105 uh, degrees uh, for the last three, four days. Uh, last night was the first time he went under 100 and he woke up this morning uh, under 100 again. So hopefully, uh, this is like you know the the road to recovery um i thought whatever i shook on friday i woke up feeling like <laughs> like crap again today but you know it is what it is most important i'm going to take another one of the, before i go take another COVID test i'm going to take one of those um, uh, another self home test and we'll see what happens anyway but hopefully you guys are all well uh hopefully you guys stay well and that's the most important part you know you could have as many dreams and hopes and ambition as you want but Hey, if you're not here, it makes it a little bit harder to achieve. So uh, let's talk about it. Um, you know, I was pretty pretty sell buys going into you know Wednesday, Thursday, uh, and f especially in Friday. Uh, you know, if, if you look for the week, you had, you had a pretty big move down. Nasdaq down three uh, percent. Most important part of what we saw in the queues, we finally closed below the 50-day moving average that we talked about on Thursday. You know, you know, we talked, we held it one, two, three, four, five times. And Friday, we gapped up, right? Hit, su hit supply on the five day. If you've been watching this broadcast, you kind of know that's like the shortest term uh, sentiment, at least for me. The five day got rejected and we started rolling over, you know, pretty aggressively. Again, you're not going to look at the scoreboard and say, wow, the market got killed. I don't look at the Dow. The Dow down 500 doesn't do anything for me. It's more of uh, the NASDAQ, right? NASDAQ members, technology, the speculation money, uh, the institutional money flow that is represented on most. Uh, index hedge funds and mutual funds books. And that's what people want to own 5, 10, 15, 20 uh, years out. And if you look at a lot of those names, um, you know, they had their bounce, especially on the Fed Day. Uh, they talked about three rate hikes for uh, 2022. I'll see it when I believe it. Uh, but, you know, as soon as they announced that $14 candle that looked great and the next day, hey, yeah, wanted, you know, we wanted to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt, rolled right over and then confirmed uh, on Friday, leaving us the first close uh, below the 50 day moving average since, let's see here, since the last time we closed below the 50 was right here, which was uh, October the 13th. So it's kind of a big deal, right? Going into this week, it's kind of a big deal because now uh, if you do believe in the theory of stocks trade from supply to supply, well, they have to trade from demand to demand and here's your demand, right? So you're worth 380, you know, let's call it 385. Uh, on the queues, the next demand is 378, and then obviously then uh, you could start looking at heavier levels. And it, it's not just the, you know technology. You know you thought well, everybody thought you know if you're going to have uh, an interest, interest rate hikes throughout the year, who's that good for? Right? It's good for financials, and financials had their one day in the sun. It's like they always have this one day, and it makes you feel like they're about to go. If you guys remember on Thursday's broadcast, I was watching the top of this channel here for confirmation for a day two run in the financials. It never happened. Uh, they gapped down and, and they went lower. And why is that significant? Well, if the group that is going to be uh, benefiting from the interest rate hikes can't muster a rally, 
well, what, what makes you say your favorite stock is going to, right? And when you look at now uh, the NASDAQ, and now you have to start looking at the SPY, right? The S&P 500, let's just use the SPYs as a barometer. The SPYs closed uh, on the 50-day moving average. Now the key for uh, the bulls, right? And again, we already got the first close uh, below the 50-day moving average uh, on the NASDAQ, which is uh, predominantly uh, biotech and technology, okay? And you're gonna see a lot of examples in a few minutes how many names have mirrored the NASDAQ 100 very, very uh, perfectly. So you have the SPIES closed at the 50-day moving average. Now, if the SPIES uh, start giving up, let's just use SPX. I know a lot of you guys love the SPX chart. Um, so, you know, if we held 4620, right? We held this 4600, excuse me, let's call it 4604, right? So we held 4604 on the close. If the bulls give up 4604, you could clearly see how much room you have uh, all the way down to the 4525 level. Again, it's the same theory as stocks trade from supply to supply to supply. That's the way it works. So here's uh, here's support. Well, if it hits support, here's the next support all the way down uh, to 4525. It looks scary because again, if you're if you're a investor, right, and you're and you're sitting in position 75 points. Uh, on the spoos, you know, it's you know, it's not small, right? It, it's definitely not small. So once you have names like the financials that can't even rally, they're going to pre pre you know predominantly play a huge role uh, in the S and P. You kind of you know you kind of know where I'm going with this. And when you finally take the leaders of technology and then realize, well, they stopped going up. Uh, you know, like an Apple, right? Apple had this really majestic run and phenomenal run. Nobody, you know, nobody's saying Apple is not the greatest thing since sliced bread and it's not, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be higher, you know, five years from now. But again, if you look at the theory, it has to at least test this 167 level uh, before it even makes even a, a soft bottom. So once you have names uh, like Apple reversing and then you have names like Tesla that is, is, you know, one day away, you know, we talked about Friday, Phenomenal pivot on Thursday going uh, going into Friday. We closed below 930. Uh, we talked about this area uh, potentially landing uh, for Friday, that 912, 905 level. That was it. I mean, it, it hit perfectly uh, pre-market, that 909 level, and it rallied back. And again, cool, it rallied back. But you're going to see the common denominator, right? What happened? It hit the five-day moving average and got reversed, right? Reversed right back down. And that's exactly what happened with the Qs, right? They hit the five-day moving average and reversed down. Look in the video, right? Hit the five-day moving average and reversed down. And the video is starting to look like a phenomenal macro short now, okay? Um, there's been a lot of call buying deep out of the money short term, which again, nobody really understands why. Maybe it's an arm deal, maybe whatever the case may be, but the scoreboard's the scoreboard. The damn thing closed right on the 50-day moving average as well. So if this thing loses the... The 50 day, you got this and then you got this all the way down uh, as well. Amazon did exactly the same thing. Uh, Google did exactly the same thing. And now uh, over the weekend, you have news that Disney is, uh, or Google's dropping Disney, or Disney's dropping Google off the YouTube platform, whatever. It's not a good thing for Google. So it looks like uh, lower prices uh, there as well. Even names like Coke, right? You know, names like. Uh, the, you know, the consumer cyclical name, the, the Main Street American names that had a phenomenal run, an absolute dreamboat run from the bottom. Coke went from, you know, 52 to 60 in two weeks. Even this thing hit the, you know, hit the, hit the I don't want to say the eject button, but hit this kind of like, quote unquote, parabolic top, close below the five-day moving average. Now, if you look at Coke, right, take a mental snapshot of Coke, right, five-day moving average. Look at Apple, right? First time it closed below the five-day moving average, started this wave down. So even names that were really, really strong are starting to roll over. Now again, is this panic mode? Get rid of all your investments? No. If you're if you are an investor, you're an investor. Your timeline is completely different than a person who trades actively trades the market day to day. Whether you're a bull, bear, or indifferent, uh, the greatest part about this market right now is giving you a tremendous. Excuse me. A tremendous average true range on both sides. Ridiculous. Like the, 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 the ranges right now are supersized. And what's cool about uh, this type of environment, when the, when the measure potential becomes amplified, well, then you don't have to take on a lot of risk. You, just could get a, you, you could just get a bigger move. And that's real, what's really, really cool. And the second part about it is, and you, and you hear a lot of people talking about how erratic this market is. And I'm one of them, man. I can't figure out 
you know, I couldn't figure out in the middle of the week which way the market wanted to go. But again, it doesn't matter. It's it's not it's it's not a contest which you're trying to impress your peers or some guy on Twitter. You know, th this is this is your money. It's 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 your money. You worked hard for your money. You want to allocate your money as as fiscally responsible uh, as possible. But what's cool about technical analysis is you don't need to guess, right? You don't need to guess which way the market's going to go. Now, if again, if you look at the final scoreboard. Uh, as you could possibly tell, the queues are under the 50-day moving January, which the spies are under uh, are, are closed right on the 50-day. I mean, obviously, I'm sell bias going into this week, but it doesn't make a difference if I'm wrong and everything starts rallying. Well, again, like I say every single day, what's the worst case that happens? Bulls reclaim higher channels. We buy stocks. <gasps> Crazy, right? It's, so that, that's the cool part about technical analysis. You don't need to be right. Um, you don't need to be. Uh, you don't need to be you have an ego or put yourself in a position that you are careless with your finances. The most important part is there's always channels, right? There's long channels, there's short channels. Um, and if you are patient enough to let those channels develop, you don't need to figure out which way the market's going to go. Having an opinion is important, 100%, right? Again, you have to have an opinion. Your eyes don't lie. You see where everything is. You see where a lot of stocks are, are looking like going into Monday session. But the most important part is you now have to be sophisticated enough and responsible enough and patient enough to let your thesis play out. And if it plays out, that's great. If it doesn't play out, well, again, you got to figure out what went wrong. Uh, is the market, you know, just completely irrational at times? And it will be, okay. Uh, or is it something that you are omitting from your process or just not getting it just because of your development uh, stage along the way that you can probably get and will get uh, down the line? So I, I think this market uh, is going to, is probably going to continue to act this way uh, going into Christmas, right? We got a full week of Christmas, um, I think there's going to be a lot of volatility. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of liquidation names. And yeah, I you know. Are you going to have uh, a name like an AMC that's going to come out? What are they called? Apes, dogs, zebras? What the hell are they called? Those Wall Street, the Wall Street guys. Anyway, you know, you got a name like this. Once in a while, it's going to pop up again. Movie theaters are the future. This is your thing. This is your thing. Cool. I'd rather be long anything else. Or rather be short on anything else. But again, to each his own. If you know, if you want, if you like. Real real estate, invest in real real estate. If you like, uh, you know, virtual real estate, you better hope you, you have a strong Wi-Fi connection. And a 22 year old kid that's a massive influencer on TikTok one day doesn't wake up and say, "Yo, this shit is so lame, yo." Right. So to each his own. Every that's what's cool part about the market. Everybody doesn't need to fit in everywhere. The circle doesn't need to fit into the square. The square doesn't need to fit into the triangle. There's multiple avenues how to trade. There's multiple ways to risk on, to risk off. And in time, okay, if you're in year one, you're going to realize that by year 10, you might be trading a lot different than you started out in year one. And that's okay. The beautiful part is you see what works for you along the way. You see where your pain uh, threshold, uh, you see where um, your, 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 your finances kind of fall into uh, risk um, and arbitrage and all that good stuff that kind of makes this wonderful uh, journey um, a reality. And the most important part is just be diligent one day at a time. Don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. And the most important part is stay in business. That's the cardinal rule. Stay in business. So I don't care if you trade options, small caps, crypto, NFTs, pivots, Amazon, Shmamazon, dog shit, night shit, whatever you want to you want to you, you want to trade. Trade it as a professional and do whatever it takes possible to make sure you are still in business. So going into next week again, uh, I am sell biased until I'm not, right? Uh, sell biased until I'm not. Uh, there's a lot of names uh, that look really, really good. Um, I'm pretty much fixated. Um, you know, I'm pretty much fixated into the probably into it, it more more into the semiconductor space. Uh, you got a name like Lamb Research. Uh, first close b below this whole rising wedge. Again, if this thing confirms down uh, below Friday's channel, look which room you have to go. NVIDIA, I really, really love. If NVIDIA closes and starts confirming the 50-day moving average, you got, you know, you got anywhere between 15 to 23 points uh, to the downside. Uh, Rivian finally gave it up on Friday. Uh, it lost the 100-day, right? $100 area we talked about 
on Friday's uh, on Thursday's video. It lost the 95.50 uh, IPO lows went all the way down to 92. The only two things that held this damn thing up from losing its 90 handle, it was on SSR, right? And it, it hit perfectly this linear regression line. So we have to watch this thing. Maybe, you know, it kind of goes sideways for the next couple of days. But once it loses this linear regression line this week, man, this thing doesn't look good here. Uh, even names like Lowe's, right, that had a really, really big aggressive run, uh, really aggressive run, the whole do-it-yourself, home improvement, uh, first close below, uh, first close below rise in support. We got to watch that. Coke, I'm watching for maybe a day two reversal uh, below the five-day moving average. Again, some profit taking there uh, maybe as well. Um, I mean, there's a whole bunch, guys. There's a whole bunch. If you go through your research tonight, uh, over the weekend, you're gonna see a lot of names uh, that look like like crap. I, I think that's the best way of saying, look like crap. So it's very, very important to do your research, have an opinion, and let that opinion play out. Guys, have a great weekend. God bless, stay blessed, stay healthy, folks. Stay, stay healthy. That's the most important part. People who talk about this is not a big deal. You obviously don't have kids. When, you, when you're a child, right? I don't care about me. I think a lot of you guys feel the same way. I don't care about me. I'm a grown, I'm a grown man. I've been around for 47 years. But when your child is sitting there and suffering with 105 fever and there's nothing you can do about it, don't tell me or don't tell anybody else it's not a big deal. Guys, love you. Wish you all the best. God bless. I'll see you all.